Innovations in science and technology are improving every day with the young minds taking interest in the field, especially at a time that government is thinking big on artificial intelligence, AI. These are some of the junior engineers, technicians, scientists, jets from the country's 10 provinces. They arrived at the National Science Center in Lusaka on Monday this week for a jet fair. Various innovations, mostly on the use of solar energy, at a time of difficult climatic conditions have been displayed, depicting suggestions on what should be done to end the energy crisis in the country. Education Minister Douglas Yagalima is happy that President Hagainde Hijilema's call for improvement in STEM learning is coming into flourishing. What we have so far seen is the same thing that the President talks about, innovation, skills and entrepreneurship. The kids as young as five years old, they are coming up with certain things that we wouldn't know. Many of us who were born a long time ago, we can see that the next generation is going somewhere. It's a marvel when you see the kids uh, performing like that. And the Patents and Companies Registration Agency, PACRA, is already thinking big on protecting the scientific innovations by the junior scientists. So this year uh, at uh, the National Jets Fair, we've undertaken to offer free registration services to 15 potential innovations that are being exhibited. On the other hand, the Ministry of Science and Technology says the innovations speak to the ministry's desire to improve science and technology in the country. As a government, we are developing an artificial intelligence strategy already before we can even start implementing the strategy. We can see that uh, our innovators are going ahead of us. This innovation from Kaomba Boys has caught the attention of the alumni. Such innovations that are coming through should be spearheaded and as a, an, an alumni. We are going to support this kind of projects. With such displays, one could simply say Zambia is in safe hands where artificial intelligence is concerned. Patricia Mapiki for ZNBC News in Lusaka.